Hey everyone, and welcome back to another Ross Reviews. Now I know a lot of you guys think I am nothing but a Ford fan, but let me tell you, I love a good Holden just as much as the next. And this one right here is probably got to be one of the craziest ones I've had on the show yet. This is a 2002 VXR8 Club Sport. If you haven't figured it out yet, this one is not stock. Now the VX was launched back in 2000 and was carried through up until the release of the VY back in 2003. These came out with a naturally aspirated 5.7 liter V8, was the LS1, made about 340 horsepower and about 350 pound foot of torque from factory, doing zero to 100 in about six seconds. But this one of course is not stock, so let's just run through what's been done here. Now just going over some of the mods here quickly, I will be sure to leave a full mods list in the description below, so make sure you check that out. We've got a Turbo Killer 2 cam upgrade. True Track Diff has been upgraded as well. Two and a half inch custom exhaust all the way through. Sounds bloody good, so take a listen. <laughs> Now all the engine internals have been upgraded as well, it has been tuned, has been put on the dyno. This thing is making now 370 rear wheel horsepower, over 650 pound foot of torque. So that is just huge in a car like this. 20 inch Simmons rims, bagged at the rear. This thing just looks so good. All right, so driving this 2002 VX HSV Club Sport. And man, this thing just feels like such a good old school Aussie muscle car. I'll tell you what. Yeah, you can definitely feel this has got a heavy duty clutch installed because, <laughs> and got a cam. Because yeah, it takes a bit to get used to, especially at that low RPM. Man, this thing sounds good. <laughs> I haven't even pushed the car yet and man does this thing sound good wow yeah there's just something about a good old naturally aspirated V8 that when you got the right exhaust system set up as well far out it sounds good now just inside the VX this is really giving me a vibe of sort of like the TE50 I reviewed uh, you know you got the blue gauges is in here as well very similar style to the TE50. The wheel feels like it's very similar again. You know, these cars basically came out at the same time and uh, were pretty much the direct competition to each other. I absolutely love these seats though. These HSV seats are just so cool. And I say it every time, Holden slash HSV, they just do a better interior. They really do. And even back in 2000, they were doing a better interior with this car as well. Oh, and with the short shifter installed on this, man, the gears are just so satisfying to put into gear. Like, it, oh, yeah, this is, a, this is such a nice Aussie muscle car. All right, now let's get into the five questions. Uh, we always start off with sound. So just put the back windows down here a little bit. Just keep feeding it on second. <laughs> I don't know how much sound is coming through, but man, this thing sounds good in person. crap like two and a half inch full custom system going through this car headers have been done like the lot man like i love the sound of my U, but far out this thing sounds good really love that rumble as well like the cam in this is just really gives it that lumpiness now practicality well obviously it's not the most practical car this thing is 20 years old uh, it is a V8, though it probably doesn't drink as much as you might think, at least a stock one. I've told from 
uh, some reviews online I seen. The average fuel consumption for a stock one was claimed at about 12 liters per 100 Ks, which, you know, for a big V8 isn't actually all that bad. Um, this one definitely won't be getting that, but again, it's a performance car and a V8. So if you're worried about the fuel, you shouldn't be buying a car like this. But for space wise, you know, you can easily fit five adults in this car, big boot. You know, these are pretty reliable as well. Now, some of these early LS ones did have a bit of issues with um, drinking a bit of oil, let's say, but Holden did a pretty damn good job in rectifying the problem. So any of the LS ones that did have that problem, they did get repaired. Uh, funny enough, if you see in the engine bay, all the ones that got repaired should have an X stamped into them somewhere. So yeah, maybe have a look at your engine bay if you own one of these, but you know, I gotta say, this particular one seems to be doing great. And again, for a 20 year old car, far out this thing drives well. Now price, these things back when they were brand new would have started off at about 65 grand. Uh, if you had to up spec them, like top trim leveled ones like this, you know, sunroof, upgraded seats, brakes, you're gonna be looking at close to $80,000, which was a lot of money back then and still is a lot of money now but you know i'm driving this car now and i keep saying it this is a lot of car and even 20 years on i am impressed right now now on the used market there's a bit of variation here but these are keeping their value pretty well uh, i had a look on car sales the other day and the average going price for one of these was around the twenty thousand dollar marks so you know they have actually held their value pretty decently now handling well i gotta say this this thing blows my ute out of the water i i mean this thing is modified fairly heavily but golly like you go around a bend in this car and it is just for a large car you know this thing weighs around 1700 kilos and far out it, it handles itself really well the steering is uh you know it is boaty steering but you know this is a large car and you can feel it's a large car when you drive it but there is hardly really any body roll here and the car just feels really stable these are running xy coilovers up the front and then we do have bags at the rear and yeah like this yeah, this thing is sweet <laughs> man and it's it is cars like these as well that you know you almost don't even have to go ridiculously fast you know you just ease on that pedal you get that roar from the exhaust and it just puts such a big smile on your face it really does all right now zero to 100 just pulled up on this back road gonna put the car in first not gonna touch anything and just see what it does so just chuck it into first here <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah I was pretty easy on the clutch this is a heavy-duty clutch and you know I don't want to dump the clutch on this guy's car because it is a pretty special car but yeah, even just from there, you know, you can see once this thing just starts crawling up the rev range, man, it is gone. And wow, this thing is just so fun. Uh, and just rolling on it again here. <laughs> wow, man. Yeah, this, this is like, this is, so nice it is just such a nice car far out now these vx's did come with basically the same engine out of the previous vt but they did get a bit of a boost so they were tuned a little bit higher got an extra five kilowatts about seven horsepower so not a massive increase but again these things go so well already it's just like man if it's not broken why fix it Far 
around. Like, I'm really even still trying to be a bit cautious with this car because I just know how special it is. But just, you know, I'm not even going full throttle here and this thing is just so sweet to drive. It really is. Now this car really does just look so good. The owner has really gone all out, you know, the 20 inch Simmons, the bags, you know, the paintwork is so clean. He's even ceramic coated this thing. Like, man, I like I seriously have to turn my head every time I see this car. And when you see it rolling down the road and when that sun is just hitting it right, far out this is a good looking car. It is such a good looking car. Also a massive shout out to Ian Defer in Belmont, also known as IDBWA. Make sure to check them out. I'll leave a link for them in the description. So please follow them. But anyways, guys, I'm gonna finish the video off here today. Huge, huge, huge thanks to the owner for allowing me to take his pride and joy out. This VX is just so, so nice. Like easily one of the coolest cars I personally think I've had on the show. And I mean that, I actually really do. So massive thanks again to him for actually allowing me to take it out today. I hope you guys enjoyed this review. I hope you learned something. If so, please remember to hit that like button. Consider subscribing if you're new here, and we'll see you on that next video.